Hello and welcome to this development log of Third Eye VR. Third Eye VR is going to be a physics sandbox for Oculus Quest. At the moment you see um, settings that are made for PC, so it will be available on Steam as well. And at first it will be a physics sandbox, but later I will add levels and maybe some story or something like that. But the main goal at the moment is to make a good high quality physics simulation sandbox for Oculus Quest. So let's see what we've got so far. We got obviously hands and arms, we got a full body with animations, I can walk around like that. Works, I think it's okay so far. Oops, let's uh, put that back onto the table. Well, so um, I made some utility already, like weapons and uh, other stuff. So, for example, we have this lever right here, and we can pull and push it up and down. The physics works quite well, and the arms follow accordingly. The hand animation is hard-coded, so for example, if you uh, collide with an object, it stops right at that position, and is, this is true for all fingers, as you can see. And that way I don't have to manually set up a hand pose, so sometimes, obviously, it's a little bit off, but I think most times it, it, it looks okay. So the hands already have colliders, but uh, as you can see, we don't have any uh, physics going on with the uh, player model. That's not an active ragdoll at the moment. I think it will be at some point in the future, but uh, for now, it's just a, an animation with a collider and a main object that has a rigid body. So for example, I can push myself up as you can see. So maybe I can use this for climb physics, climbing physics or something like that. So what else do we have? We have this crowbar right here. So I can grab it with both hands and manipulate it. And it is all completely physics based. As you can see, it interacts with all other objects. And yeah, I can, I can move it through objects. We have no penetrations going on. <coughs> And we, where was he? So we got this alien NPC right here. And as you can see, the alien is an active rock doll as well. And the physics work nicely. Or so. <coughs> well, what else do we have? We have a knife and a sandbag that we can use to penetrate. And that really fun actually and as you can see the uh, target is uh, the actual position and sometimes it, it doesn't match because uh, I will have to reset the target position for objects to the actual hand position so I will do that in the future at some point and another thing is for some objects I did these uh, I call that IK zones where a specific hand, po hand pose that I made manually is uh, active if the hand is in a specific position uh, relative to the object. So if it penetrates the zone, the hand pose will be uh, used. So that's what it looks if the hand pose is not set up properly. So I just uh, made that and uh, didn't set it up for all objects at the moment. And all of this is made from scratch. The only thing I'm using is the, and I'm using Unity as the game engine. And uh, I yeah, made all that from scratch. I'm only using the XR plugin and uh, the inter interactions uh, work with my own physics interaction toolkit that I'm developing at the moment. So handgun works. Also, you see this uh, manually set up hand pose. This works for both hands, and sometimes, as you can see, uh, yeah, if that's what it looks like if you're not in the uh, trigger zone for the hand IK zone. So, oh boy, what happened? So, and we're right back, and we have these M4 right here, and two hand to grab interactions work as well. And the hands, the inverse kinematics of the body works really good, actually. 
and I can grab it wherever I want. I have this IK zone where the trigger is and all other spots are just uh, procedurally generated hand poses. So it doesn't matter where I'm touching the object, it will follow accordingly. And of course this is as well interactable with the environment as you can see. And we got a sniper. Oh damn. Oh damn. Yeah, so uh, there is more development than I need to do. And as you can see, the scope works as well. Another cool thing is this RPG. Um, I don't have any uh, IK zones set up at the moment. So as you can see, it's just uh, it's just the uh, default setting on my uh, grab interactable component that is used on this object. And I need to snap the rocket into place, then it will lock into the RPG and I can fire it and uh, the rocket, the missile will explode at some point on collision. So what else do we got? We got the force grab already that is working and it looks quite satisfying, arguably. So we got uh, a fully physics-based force grab system. If I push the trigger, the object will uh, move towards the hand. Uh, at least it's supposed to do that. But uh, when gravity is enabled, it will uh, have this offset. And uh, yeah, it doesn't work really well at the moment. I will have to disable gravity when it's grabbed. At the moment it's better to just uh, throw it with the force grab and then catch it in the air. And as you can see the last thing I want to show you is this uh, alien NPC that I made. I can interact with the alien NPC with force grab as well. So, And that works because the alien has a uh, interaction component as well. So if I grab it somewhere over there, it only the trigger zone is only at the uh, center of the oh damn what is happening. It's only at the center of the body and then I can push it up. The rectal, the active rectal will be disabled and if I throw it away it uh, it will behave as it is disabled. As if it is disabled. I don't know. And uh, yeah that's that's the main framework at the moment. Another thing is I have a menu going on so I can open the menu by pressing the X button of the left controller and then go to utility, weapons and then I can choose all types of weapons that I made or the, the ones at least that I've uh, set up in the system. So for example, I can just pick it up and then it will be instantiated for uh, until it's destroyed or an M4 or this sandbag for some reason and I can spawn NPCs like this alien NPC that you've already seen got another alien NPC which is the same prefect basically but uh, it's larger and then I can shoot them as well for some reason Set up the microphone again and I can uh, interact with these ragdolls with the force grab system. I think that gives you a, a very interesting result. Uh, let's kill this one. Yeah, I think that's a, a fun way to interact with things. I can also throw them around. Yeah, so it's basically a lot of Unity game engine go game engine going on, but uh, yeah, I will have to add more functionalities, more utilities, and uh, expand the overall spawning system so it will be more fun than just uh, using a few weapons. But uh, that's everything. That's that's all I've set up in. Let's say it's seven or the eighth day 
in eight days. I made this in eight days. That's what I want to say. And uh, except for the weapons, these I made these for in a in a prior project, in a previous project. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I already had them and just had to change the way you interact with them by using my uh, interaction component that I made this week. So that's everything we got right now. Now stay tuned for the next development log. Yeah, same time.